Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome to this brand new podcast episode of The Thrive Show with yours truly, Giovanna Lady J. Ellison, your certified leading business coach here to help you thrive and flourish in your life and in your business while keeping God first. I'm so thrilled that you're here. Today, I'm taking you behind the scenes into my very own content vault. This is content that I've developed down through the years of being in business. And there is something here to help you go to the next level. So sit back, relax, enjoy, get something great out of today's content and share it with a friend as well, who you know can be blessed by it. All right, let's get ready to go into the content vault. Enjoy. Welcome to the Thrive Podcast. If you want to thrive in your life and business while keeping God first, you're in the right place. This is the show for leaders who want to leave a legacy of love, encouragement, and generosity. You want to be remembered for the way you positively impacted the lives of others and made a lasting difference. You want God to order your steps. Sometimes you just need a nudge in the right direction to take those steps. The Thrive Podcast will help you take the right steps, overcome obstacles, and equip you for the kind of success that matters to you. And now your host, Giovanna Lady J. Ellison. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to Giovanna.com. I am so excited that you're with me today. I have with me one of my absolute favorite people in the world who I consider to be my personal mentor in so many ways. This is the one and only Dan Miller. Dan is president and creative thinker of 48 Days LLC, 48 Days for the Work You Love. Many of you have heard me recommend all of his products. He's been a guest on CBS, The Early Show. So Hardball with Chris Matthews. Um, he even uh, does regular contributions for Zig Ziglar, newsletters, CBN, Success Magazine, and so much and so much more. Dan, thank you so much for being here today. Oh, you're welcome. I always oh. look forward to the opportunities to talk to you. Wow, thank you so much. I, I once heard Dave Ramsey say that most millionaires have fanatical levels of integrity and generosity, and you, you definitely, definitely prove that, so thank you. Well, I appreciate that. I hope so. All right, all right. Well, listen, just a, a few quick questions. I just got through listening to uh, Michael Hyatt, you and Michael Hyatt, talking about how to profit from what you already know and do the $150,000 a year, um, you know, with your income. Can you tell me a little bit about how you got started in your Sunday school class and how the whole 48 days came to be? Sure. I was... Joanna and I, my wife and I, were teaching a Sunday school class, which we agreed to do, on just kind of helping people through career transitions. Not a big thing on my radar, but I have background. My academic training is in psychology, so I have my master's in clinical psychology. I've always mm-hmm. been involved in that kind of world. And mm-hmm. they asked us to teach this class, which we did. Well, it just seemed to be a vacuum in the community, mm-hmm. and we realized we were having people not only from other churches but other states that were coming for that Sunday school. So we changed it to a Monday night to make it a little easier. Did that for about eight years. But mm-hmm. people were just found that to be an oasis, and we just shared with them principles to help them through those transitions. Wow. Well, as a result of that, though, immediately people started asking for materials. And mm-hmm. I really didn't have – I wasn't using anything to teach from. I was – creating a week in advance, you know, Mm -hmm. just some handouts for them that I thought would help. We'd get feedback from people, so we'd make the materials a little better. Mm -hmm. And I had people asking me for those materials. You know, I've got a Mm -hmm. son-in-law who's been without work. What do you have? And I didn't have anything. So Mm -hmm. I finally put together just a rough compilation of my Sunday school notes, Mm -hmm. along with a couple CDs in there, in a three-ring binder, and just made it available for people. Wow. Well, I say, I say that kind of casually. I mean, I didn't just tuck one under my arm. I, mean, I also understand sales and marketing. That's mm-hmm. also a love of mine. Mm-hmm. So we positioned it so people could find that. And uh, that turned out to really hit a nerve with people. And we sold you know, several million dollars of that little three-ring binder before mm-hmm. I ever talked to a publisher, a bookstore, a library. I'd never approached it like that. But then having that success, then I had publishers knocking at my door. And it kind of opened the door for the things I've done now for quite a few years. 
Wow. And you have done amazing, amazing work from your blog, your podcast, your books, all the products that you have. But can you tell me about how that, that newsletter that you started sending out, how you went from 67 to over 130,000 email subscribers? In today's environment, we hear so much about social media and all these mm-hmm. tricks and things that we can use to get more Twitter followers and Facebook friends and all that. I mm-hmm. am a real amateur when it comes mm-hmm. to all of that. Mm-hmm. I just share with people. I just mm-hmm. share from my heart. And so yeah. I started that, as you described, you know, started in 2000, August of 2000. I sent a little note to 67 people whose emails I had and said, I'm going to be doing a weekly just career tips, just ways to see opportunities instead of feeling victimized. Mm -hmm. If you like it, pass it on. If you don't, let me know. I'll take you off. It Mm -hmm. really never got any more sophisticated than that. But they shared, Mm -hmm. got passed on, and, yeah, we've had over 130,000 people that have raised their hand and say, I want that. So wow. it gave gave me an opportunity just to share. I share tips in there, and then um, a little humor, inspiring quotations. But uh, continue to do that. I've, uh, another thing that we really ought to emphasize is the consistency of giving people what you say you're going to give them. So mm-hmm. having started that in August of 2000 and saying I was going to do it weekly, we're now in 2014, I've never missed a week. No matter wow. what, I've, n- I've never missed an issue of that. Oh, now that's amazing to have that kind of consistency. I was just reading uh, the book you recommend, um, The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy, and he also talks about that level of consistency. But what would you say to someone who wants to be a top performer, who wants to be the best at what they do? You talk about that 5%. What what does a person need to do in order to to rise above the rest? There are opportunities for doing that. You just have to look around at people in your profession and industry and look at what are they not doing? What are they not willing to do? I mean, one of the examples you probably have heard me relate is mm-hmm. that in authors, in the author space, I mean, I love mm-hmm. writing, but if we mm-hmm. look at authors, we know that 95% of authors never make more than $40,000 a year. Mm-hmm. Well, that could be pretty discouraging. And I think, well, I need to go do something else, even though I really love this. No, mm-hmm. I simply ask myself, gee, how tough can it be to put myself in the 5%? I'm going to do things that most authors never dream of doing. So -hmm. rather than just sending in a manuscript to the publisher and then go sitting in a lawn chair by the mailbox waiting on those big royalty checks to come in, Mm -hmm. I don't do that. I I work with the publishers. They're wonderful business partners. But boy, I mean, before the book comes out, I'm creating ancillary materials. I'm doing interviews like this. I'm speaking places. We Mm. do phenomenal book launches where we have a lot of fun. We did a a program on Kickstarter with the last book that that I did with my son, just offered all kinds of outrageous uh, gifts for people. We had people who who paid a lot of money to get a couple copies of the book and spend a night here at the sanctuary. The oh, place wow. Where I, <laughs> so, I mean. I, so I'm always looking for what what am I going to do that just yeah. stirs things up and to put me in that 5%, and that's worked really, really well. I mean, wow. The writing that I do certainly has uh, put me into a very small percentage of authors, what they ever get to experience. I'll tell you something you did that that really put you in that top 5% at Coaching with Excellence is when you were doing the free giveaways. And towards the end, you talked about the CD uh, by Nightingale Conant with different authors on it. And you said, now, whoever gets this is going to really get the best. And then you ended up giving it to all of us. And so that just blew our mind. And I've listened to it about three or four times now, and I listen to it all the time. <laughs> so that was awesome. So thank you well, for that. By the way. That it, I'm, I love doing those kind of things. Mm-hmm. Just do the unexpected. Mm-hmm. So we had been, as you know, when you were here, you know, drawing names all day long. This person mm-hmm. wins this. This person wins that. And of course, my daughter is you know my partner in crime. She mm-hmm. knows what's come. So she draws that name. 
Oh, it says everybody, and the oh. crowd goes wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, that was awesome. Dan, one, one last question, and again, thank you for being so generous with your time, but sure. I have some people listening today that um, they are in the midst of a career challenge, and they want to move from the job that they hate to the job that they that they love. Um, what would you tell someone who is in the middle of a career challenge what would you tell them one of the two things that they, two or three things they need to do to overcome their adversity? Sure. The first thing is be careful about just getting a Band-Aid solution. A lot of people mm-hmm. are unhappy in what they're doing, and so they look at in the Sunday newspaper, oh, they're hiring down the street, or Uncle Harry has a position in his company, and they mm-hmm. jump there thinking that just the change will somehow make their life wonderful. And mm-hmm. usually it turns out to just be a Band-Aid. Mm-hmm. I say take a deep breath, look inward first. Eighty-five percent of the process of having the confidence of proper direction comes from looking inward first. So Mm -hmm. look inside and see what are my unique skills and abilities. What are my personality traits? How do I relate to other people? What kind of environments are most comfortable in? Mm -hmm. And then what are what are those recurring things that when it's happening, I'm in the zone. What is it that keeps popping up that I just can't stay away from, that I spend my time doing even if I'm not being paid for? Well, when we look at those things, we start to see some clear patterns. And it's from those that we can get the confidence of a clear focus and then go out in the workplace with our head high, shoulders back, full of confidence, enthusiasm, and boldness that's attractive to any organization. Mm, Wow, that is awesome. Dan, thank you so much. I have so much respect for you. I admire you, um, the whole family. How are the grandkids? How are the granddaughters? Oh, they're wonderful. We've got one one little granddaughter from uh, here from Kenya, Nairobi, Kenya right now. So we're enjoying time with her. But uh, the other ones that you know, Ashley's little girls will be here a little later, even as we speak. But you know, we enjoy that season in our life to get to yeah. get to see those little people develop with their unique skills and unique ways that God has gifted them. It starts to show itself really, really young, and it's just <laughs> a thrill, thrill to watch it develop. Wow, awesome! So, how can people get in touch with you, and how can they follow what you're doing? 48days.com is our site, which has a lot of information, a lot of the things that we've mentioned here, mm-hmm. my blog, my podcast, newsletter. And then we have this amazing group of people, 48days.net. It's an open community. I mean, you do have to be a member, but it's people who are sharing ideas and resources together. We kind of use that adage, a rising tide raises all ships. Mm-hmm. People are so willing to help each other, and together yeah. we can be more successful than we can do individually. So the 48days.com or 48days.net, that will give you the full scope of what we do. Awesome. All right, Dan, thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful time at the Innovate Conference, and thanks again. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure being your guest today, Giovanna. All right. Talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's interview. I'm so glad you are on the line with me today, the one and only Dan Miller. When I tell you he is the cream of the crop, he is the best. So make sure you follow him, check him out, what he's doing, and let your life be blessed. Thanks so much for tuning in. Until the next time, I'll see you right here on Javana.com. Well, thank you so much for listening to today's episode of The Content Vault. I pray that something was said that can be useful and helpful to you in your life and in your business journey. I look forward to seeing you next time for The Thrive Show. And remember, like I always say, where God guides, God provides, and where God directs, God protects. We'll see you next time. It's your time. Are you a coach, entrepreneur, or leader? Are you someone who wants to keep God first in your business? Well then, it's your time to shine. Join the exclusive mastermind of world-class leaders inside Thrive, led by Giovanna Lady J. Ellison. Get ready to clarify your purpose, amplify your strengths, and thrive financially from what you already know. Sign up today at Javana.com.
That's J-E-V-O-N-N-A-H dot com.